In this video, we are going to discuss about stability and causality and uh, a problem related to stability and causality. Now, see the problem here. This is given in gate 2004 and the impulse response h of n of a linear time invariant system is given by h of n is equal into u of n plus 3 u of uh, n minus 2 minus 2 of u of n minus 7 where u of n is a unit step sequence the above system is. So, for example, any system with impulse response h of n is like this then the system is stable but not causal or stable and causal or causal but not unstable, unstable and not causal. So, we need to specify this type of system rela related to what. So, now that means we need to check both stability and causality. How we will check stability of a system means we already discussed in the topic of stable and unstable system that. So, a system is said to be a stable system that it need to provide bounded output for a bounded input. If a system is producing bounded output for a bounded input that means uh, a constant amplitude or finite amplitude then the system is said to be stable system. So, coming to causal system if the system response depends upon present and past values then that system is said to be causal otherwise that means if the system response depends upon future values then the system is said, said to be non-causal system. Coming to this, so if you see h of n, so h of n is equal to they given h of n is equal to u of n plus 3, so u of n minus 2 minus 2 u of n minus 7. So first of all I want to check the stability of the system that means if uh, u of n is the input what may be the output for example if you given already they given unit step function the response is with unit step function only according to the output signal we can trace so whether the system is stable or not here u of n plus 3 is nothing but this is a shifted unit unit step which shift it's undergone means it's taken a negative shift so, if you equate n plus 3 is equal to 0 and you are going to get n is equal to minus 3. So, minus 3 from minus 3 your unit step function is started and after that you are having addition of another unit step function that is from u of n minus 2. So, u of n minus 2 means you are going to start your signal at t 2. That means n minus 2 if you equate with 0 you are going to get your n is equal to 2. So, here as this is discrete function you can consider in uh, discrete samples. So, I am going to consider in discrete samples. So, here from n is equal to minus 3 you are having samples and if you consider like this. So, from n is equal to th this is 0, 1, 2. From 2 onwards you are having samples of this unit step function. So, now here if you consider this one so, this is 2 u of n minus 7 that means 3, 4, 5, 6 from 7 you are having samples for this unit step function that is also with amplitude 2. So, here if you added these two, if you added these two and if you subtracted this signal from these two addition you are going to get a finite signal only you are not going to get any infinite signal why because so the ending at infinity what is the value of this u of n plus 3 at infinity what is the value at minus 3 it is having some value but at infinity this is equivalent to 1 only that means why I am considering the value at infinity means to get a bounded signal we need to specify or we need to say the finite amplitude at infinity that means if you are able to tell the amplitude of the signal at infinity then you can say that is a bounded signal. So, here u of n plus 3 amplitude we can trace as a finite amplitude at n is equal to infinity at n equal to infinity the amplitude of u of n plus 3 is equal to 1 you may get one sample plus so u of n minus 2 also continuously having pulses from 2 to infinity. So, that means at infinity this u of n minus 2 value is, is also equivalent to 1 
at u of n minus 7 that means at infinity the value of u of 2 minus 7 is also equivalent to 1 and it is scaling to 2 so that means 1 plus 1 2 minus 2 0 that means at infinity that means from 7 from n is equal to 7 so the result of your response is equal to 0 that means you are getting a finite value you, you can trace the value of your signal at infinity so whenever your amplitude is considered uh, it seems like 0 means you are getting a bounded signal for bounded input already unit steps are bounded input signals so by this we can say system is stable so which options comes into picture means so these two options may be correct so in these two options you need to select based on the causality now coming to causal when we can say a system is causal means whenever a system response depends upon present and past not on future then only said to be causal if the system response depends upon the future inputs also then that is said to be non-causal so here i am considering any uh, present input like n is equal to 0 for example if you applied n is equal to 0 then h of 0 is equal to u of 3 plus u of minus 2 minus 2 u of minus 7 for your present input 0 your present uh, output is dependent upon uh, future input if you see if your present input is n is equal to 0 present input become u of 0 present output will become h of 0 so here so for present input so your response is going to depend upon future input you if u of 0 is present input u of 3 will become future input of u of 0 like that if u of 0 is present input u of minus 2 and u of minus 7 are past inputs for u of 0 but here if you see the response the response is depend upon future input of u of 0 that means u of 3 so if system re response depends upon future input then that is said to be non-causal so in these options you need to select for non-causal so here first option suits for that the system with the response h of n is equivalent to u of n plus 3 plus u of n minus 2 minus 2 u of n minus 7 is said to be stable but not causal system like this way we need to solve the re uh, relations or problems related to stability and causality of a system.